This is my LEGO room tour for 2024. I made one of these videos around this time last year, and since then a lot has changed. Namely, a completely new, dedicated studio for all my projects. In this video, I'm going to give you an overview of my space, and some of the more interesting parts of my collection. Okay, starting over on the right when you first enter the room, I have a table with lots and lots of pick -a cups and miscellaneous parts storage, as well as my computer space for editing and working on videos. Most of these parts are useful in specific settings, but not things I normally use in every build, so I stuck them over here. And to the right, I have all of my leaf pieces, as well as tan and dark tan plates and battle droids. On top, I have the Tales of the Space Age set, which is such a nice display piece. All the colors stand out beautifully against the black and white background. I also have my turntable, which I'm very excited to use for reviews and showcases, such as the Separatist shuttle that I just put together for my Citadel mock. To the left is the main display area with most of my sets and mocks that I still have put together. On top, I have the Black Series Mando helmet and Grogu, and right below are the LEGO versions. This top shelf is for my helmets and UCS sets. The Vader and Scout Trooper were sent to me through Empire Lug from LEGO for review, so that was a really cool opportunity, and if you want to check out that video, I'll have a card in the top right corner of the screen. Next are Commander Cody and Mando. These are technically my fiancés, but they earned a spot up here with the rest. Then we have Grogu, which I bought for half price at Brick Fair, Virginia last year. And finally, we have my only two UCS sets, the ATSD and my favorite LEGO set ever, the Slave One. Moving down, I have my Return of the Jedi and Empire display, starting with this little Echo Base mock I did for a challenge video, and then a playset AT-AT that was given to me by my brother, the Throne Room diorama, and this cool Death Star hologram. This is the bunker section from my huge Endor collaboration that I did with my friend Daniel two years ago, and Gaul Lego's ATST version 3 that I used in that mock. Below that are ships and speeders, starting with Pre Vizsla's Mandalorian fighter from 2012, Lewis Kiwi's version 1 AAT in tan with the 1999 Vulture droid, my flash speeder from Theed, and then some speeders from Mos Eisley. Next are two Jedi game series mocks, the Forest Gate on Kobo from Jedi Survivor, and Bogano with the Meditation Ring from Jedi Fallen Order. This is probably still the best thing I've ever made, and it is my Old Republic Liberator class Starfighter from 2021. It has all the details as well as extending, folding wings, and it can seat a minifigure with Zabrak horns. Finally on the bottom shelf I have the Malevolence and the Season 7 Mandalorian Fighter, as well as the Tantive 4, which I won in a giveaway, and a modified TIE Fighter set. I do have the instructions to Jarek's TIE, so I'll eventually swap this one out, but that's a project for a later date. Okay, moving into the center of the room, I have a plethora of lights for videos and my main project table with my ongoing Citadel build. This is where I do all my big mocks, where I need lots of room and to be able to get behind to build the backside. Continuing on, this is my small projects desk with the majority of my parts that I use for mocks. These little rolly carts have miscellaneous bricks and my loose minifig parts. Completed figs are in this drawer and cables and other camera gear are in these two. Mainly slopes and connection pieces are in the lower half of these stack-ons and the top is wedge plates and detail pieces that couldn't fit with the rest. Moving over, we have the rest of the wedge plates and all of my snot pieces like brackets headlight bricks, and snot bricks. Below that we have my detail pieces in medium nougat, dark orange, reddish brown, dark green, and green. At the bottom I have trans clear plates and tiles, and to the left are the detail pieces in black, dark bluish gray, light bluish gray, tan, and dark tan. Above them are my foliage pieces and olive green parts. These drawers are filled with plates in black, white, green, and a lot of reddish brown, as well as mountain slopes in dark and light bluish gray. Then I have filler brick, sorted by size, unsorted red, orange, yellow, and green parts, dark and light bluish gray bricks and plates, and palm tree and dark green leaves. On top I have a bunch of little builds that I wanted to keep together but didn't really have anywhere to put them. This closet is overflow and most of it isn't sorted. Down here I have bags of parts that I don't use very often, 
and an old flying pirate ship that I never finished but want to eventually, and then a bunch of random colors of parts and old sets that I need to go through. I keep all of my boxes, so this corner is devoted to those, and before you judge, the box from the UCS Slave 1 is worth like $50, so you know it's gotta be worth it. Above is my tiny collection of sealed sets. I'm going to build the Mandalorian one though, because I really want the figs. These are all unfinished projects like an Imperial Transport by Edge of Bricks. These are my parted out sets. I have the 2010 ARC-170, the 2012 Gungan Sub with Queen Amidala, the 2014 Droid Gunship, and an almost complete 2002 Geonosian Cannon and Starfighter. The rest of the bins are all sorted by color and don't have that many useful parts, so they mainly go untouched. So that is my complete LEGO room or studio tour for 2024. If you made it this far, consider liking the video and subscribing if you want to see more. I have a huge building series on the Citadel from Clone Wars going on right now, so if you're interested in that, I'll have the playlist on screen. Otherwise, thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.